We know it kidnapped a sweet 13-year-old Japanese girl, rocket man, from a beach in her own country to enslave her as a language tutor for North Korea's spies. Hey, what's going on guys? Rocketman here and today I'm going to be showing you a little tutorial on how you can get Discord overlay in one, your OBS recordings and two, right on your screen as you play games. So as we can see up in the top left corner there, we have everybody in my Discord who's talking right now. And now if I unmute myself, I will be able to see who exactly is talking even in the overlay. Richard. As you can see there, everybody's name who is talking is being highlighted. And hopefully they <laughs> like, can't hear me right now. Like climbing up this hill, we're going really fast. Yeah, I just said high speeds, dude. So the first method I'm going to be using is with the OBS recording software. Now this can be done with most recording software using the browser source plugin. So we're going to add the browser source, hit OK, and just leave it as it is for now. Now next step in this process is going to be opening up our browser and going to steamkit.discordapp.com slash overlay. Now this link will be in the description and if you ever have any issues refining this you can just type into any old search engine discord overlay and it's going to be this stream kit discord overlay right here. So go ahead and click on that. Now we're going to be installing for OBS. There's an option for XSplit as well I have not explored but install for OBS is going to give us the browser plugin that we need for any recording software that uses browser sources. Now if you come to this website guys and you click on server and there is no server list here you have to make sure that your discord is up and running. Now what we're going to want there are three different options that we can run our status widgets, chat widgets, and voice widgets. The status widget is going to give us what we see on the right side of the screen here which is a link to the actual discord with how many people are online. All of that is fully customizable as you can see here, but what we're going to be playing with today is the voice widget. So if we go into our voice widget, click on the server we would like to choose. In this case, it's going to be cat's litter box in the general server. And after that, we can customize any of these smaller options as you see fit. So for example, you have a whole bunch of people in the discord. You can say show speaking users only, small avatars, hide names so they're only avatars, text colors, text sizes, anything that you could really think of or want to change is available here. Once we have all our options set up for our voice widget, we're going to be taking this URL here and as it says, you are going to want to put this into your browser source. So we're going to go back to our OBS, right click on browser source, head into properties and replace the URL default obsproject.com with what we have now copied over from this web page. Now it does take a few seconds, but as you can see, it is loaded up there and we do have the overlay in our recording. Now, if we say add a scene to this, which may be our game capture most likely, but I'm gonna say desktop capture, display capture, because I do not have a game running at this moment. Now we're also gonna to wanna to make sure that browser source is on top of everything else, display capture, game capture, whatever you may be using. Now once we have it up here guys, that's pretty much it. We are all ready to go. We can customize the size a little bit as we need, put it into different positions on the screen. And once you have it all ready, you just hit start recording as you do normally in OBS and the overlay will be over top of your normal recording. Okay guys, and for the second method here, we're gonna be using a program called PlayClaw 5. Now I've experimented with this recording software and it's not the best, but it does have this one feature that I really do like, and it is available in the trial version, which does not run out or expire. So you can continue to use the trial version of PlayCall to get the Discord overlay on your games at any point in time. I would just not use it for recording. Now, as you can see with the OBS software over the game here, we are only using display capture. There is no browser source plugin that is recording our overlay here. And if I unmute myself, you'll be able to see people speaking. I'm driving the wrong way. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and download the client at playclaw.com slash download. Now it is available for all versions of Windows. I'm not too sure about Mac or Linux, but just go ahead and click the download Playclaw trial version up at the top right corner here. Wait for it to download, open it up once it's finished. 
which I have already done. And as you guys can see here, this is the Play Claw 5 GUI. And you can change many different things. I really don't like to use it for recording, but it does have lots and lots of different options that make it quite nice, actually. It's not one of the most terrible out there, but you do have to pay for a full version, and OBS is free. So to get to our overlay, what we're going to want to do is head into Plugins, Web Browser Overlay. Go ahead and check mark that and either Plugin Settings or you can just go into straight Preview Overlay. Now once we're in the preview, if you hover your mouse over the actual web browser overlay, we get a few different options here. We have Render on Screen, Render in Recording, and Settings. Now Render on Screen is going to be the actual setting that we want to use. This is going to put the overlay up onto your game while you're recording so that you're able to see exactly who's talking in your chat. Now we can take it off render and recording if we want. It doesn't really matter because like I said, we shouldn't be using this one to record. And again, we're going to need to pull this URL from here, go over to our web browser overlay and open the settings. Now this will have, again, just like OBS did, a default browser in there. We want to paste our overlay onto that, give it a few seconds and it loads up with the overlay. Okay guys, and a few tips and tricks just to make sure that this does work. It is a little bit glitchy, especially in the early access game. It must be running off of a full screen game, and it's always on the full screen application that you have clicked on. So if I actually click on my OBS, you can't see it right now, but the overlay goes onto the OBS. Once I click back onto Pub here, away she goes up in the top left corner. But just to make sure, if you have any issues, you're going to want... Well, that's interesting. I was going to say make sure it's not in windowed because I thought it only worked in full screen. But if you are having issues with it not showing up, make sure that you do have it in either full screen or switch it to windowed if it already is. And the other thing that you should be able to do if it is not working is hit the encoder settings here, capture mode game. If we're on desktop, it doesn't actually put the overlays onto anything. And there you have it guys, two different ways to have Discord overlay either on your recording or on your screen while you're playing video games. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one. Later days.